Lesson 2, using a text editor to edit your website or web pages. On my previous lessons, I've shown you how to set up a local environment to work with the web server and install WAMP, MAP, or XAMPP, local web server environment. Now, I'm going to show you how to install and use a text editor software so that you can edit your web HTML files. Let me show you how this works. Most website browsers such as Google, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Opera, etc. reads HTML files. They also read JavaScript, CSS, and PHP files as well, which we will be learning on later lessons. For now, we're going to concentrate on HTML files. There are a few text editors that I use to edit HTML files. One is Note++ for Windows and Text Wrangler for Mac. Later on, I'll be introducing an integrated development environment such as Eclipse, Adobe, Dreamweaver, or Zen Studio. So let's get started. First, I'm going to download a text editor software called Text Wrangler for Mac. So what I do is I open up a browser. You go to Google to search for Text Wrangler download for Mac. Here, I click on bare bones software Text Wrangler. When I click here, this is a link. I will be downloading the Text Wrangler right here. You see that? You click there and I download this version here. And you can also download the manual on here as well. But I'm just going to save that to the desktop. Save. Okay, so once it's finished downloading, just open up your Finder in on a Mac and look for Text Wrangler here. You will double click on Text Wrangler. It opens the Text Wrangler software. Just take this icon, drag it, and drop it to the Mac application folder. Double click here and look for text wrangler. So here's a text wrangler.app file. Double click here and it asks to open the text wrangler. Click on open. Text wrangler opens here. So let's create our first HTML file and test it on the web browser. With HTML, you can create your own website. In my opinion, HTML is very easy to learn. It takes a lot of practice and you will be on your way to making awesome websites. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to have an open h1 tag and we're going to have a close h1 tag. So we're going to go to h1, open up the tag, and then we'll type in hello world. And then we're going to put an exclamation. And we're going to close the h1 tag. And that is it. And so now we're going to have to save this file into the uh, htdoc folder. So you go to File, you go to Save As. We're going to save this in the Applications folder, MAMP. If you're running on a Mac, you save it on a MAMP folder. And if you're running on a Windows, you're going to save it on a WAMP folder. In the MAMP folder, there will be an htdoc folder. And on a Windows WAMP folder, it's going to be on the www folder. So now you double click here and you save it. And in here, I'm going to type in hello world.html and I'm going to save. So that's the htdocs directory that you're saving in. So now let's go ahead and run the HTML file and see how it looks. Before you run the HTML file on your local host. You must launch your MAMP or WAMP local server environment. On my previous lessons, I mentioned that in order to run any HTML files or PHP files, you have to turn your local server environment and view your work on a browser in the local host. So for the Mac, you're going to have to open up the Applications folder, go to the MAMP right here, and in the map, you run the map file right here. Double click here. And then once you double click on the map, you have to start the server. And once the server started, it opens up your local host. It opens up your local host colon slash map. In that folder, the htdocs is where you're mostly paying attention to. So here's the file that you just saved, hello world.html and you will see this file 
you save called Hello World. Double click on this, it'll run Hello World. If you wanted to do another way, you type in HTTP colon slash slash local host with a colon 888 slash, you press enter, it's the same thing here you see, hello world.html. You click there, it opens up. And there you have it. And now you have successfully created your first HTML website or web page. So for the Windows user, you would like to go down and click on the link below this video to install a text editor, Note++, plus plus for the Windows environment and build your first HTML website or web page on a Windows computer below this video. So this ends the lesson two, and now we will move on to the next lesson. Thanks for watching.